This is an acoustic neuroma and acoustic neuromas are a feature of neurofibromatosis type 2. An older term for neurofibromatosis type 2 is acoustic neurofibromatosis because of the association with acoustic neuromas of course. It arises in the late childhood up to around 30 years and inheritance is autosomal dominant and it, the affected gene is the NF2 gene and that is located on chromosome 22. In contrast to neurofibromatosis type 1, neurofibromatosis type 2 is quite rare affecting between 1 in 40 and 50,000 of the population and the tumours arise on the nerves that transmit balance and hearing. And the fault that allows acoustic neuromas to arise in neurofibromatosis type 2 is that the NF2 gene stops producing a protein called Merlin that suppresses tumour formation. Clinical presentation of neurofibromatosis type 2 is with deafness and tinnitus, balance problems, sometimes numbness of the face, cataract in 2 out of 3 patients with neurofibromatosis type 2, and pigmented skin macules called cafe au lait spots may be present, but not to the extent as in neurofibromatosis type 1. Tumours that arise in neurofibromatosis type 2 include bilateral acoustic neuromas, gliomas, especially ependymomas, schwannomas of the skin, and schwannosis, and this is a growth of schwann cells into the spinal cord. Another associated feature of neurofibromatosis type 2 is the presence of meningioangiomatosis, and this is proliferation of meningeal and blood vessel cells. Also meningiomas are present in around 50% of patients with neurofibromatosis type 2 and also neurofibromas may be present but much fewer in number than in neurofibromatosis type 1. Here again is the gross image of an acoustic neuroma and acoustic neuromas are benign tumours of Schwann cells called schwannomas. And here is the histological appearance of a schwannoma.